Hey everybody, Bob Arity here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import your player list or historical scores uh, into, uh, into Golf League Tracker from Excel or from a common delimited file. And this is generally for new leagues that are trying to get going on Golf League Tracker as quickly as possible. So in this case, I have a 20 player league set up and in my player list, I have nobody entered, um, subs or regular players. So if I go back to League Setup and go to Import Data, uh, you'll notice you have two options. You can import players or import a score history. And the score history would be used for handicapping um, calculations so that you'll have a history from the end of last season to calculate handicaps for this season. One of the options with the score import is that if a player doesn't exist, you have the option of adding them to the system. One thing to note is that if you do have players already in the system and you're trying to import the score history, the names need to match exactly as entered in the system, uh, except for the case, capital letters and whatnot. But if you have one guy named Bob and the other one named Robert, it's going to think those are two separate players. So it's not going to know to match uh, the score in your sheet your excel sheet to the player name in the system but in this case we're just going to do a name import and i'm going to go over to excel and this is a very typical spreadsheet that people have um, it's got a player list a schedule and results um, and there's some prep work that i need to do on this uh, they'll just take a minute golf league tracker requires a first and last name to be imported but in this case i just have a singular name column so I need to use Excel to convert this to two different um, names, for, so it's split by first name, last name. In the version of Excel I'm using, it's very easy to do. I, th I think you'd have to go back pretty far in the versions to um, not be able to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the column by clicking the A here um, where my name is. And I'm going to go up to the Data menu, and there's a feature called Text to Columns. And it says, split a single column of text into multiple columns. You can separate a column of full names into separate first and last name columns. Beautiful. It's exactly what we want to do. So I'm going to click on text to columns. And it's going to say, how do I want to break this up? And in this case, it's delimited or split by a comma. So I'm going to choose delimited and click next. And it says, okay, what is it delimited by? Is it with a tab or a semicolon or a comma or a space? In our case, it's only by a comma. So I'm going to uncheck tab and check on comma. And you can see in the preview window here, oh, I can't make it bigger. Um, you can see how it's going to break this up um, into two columns. I'm going to click next. And we're just going to leave it as a general format. And then... Um, where do I want to put it? By default, I'm just going to keep it at the same destination. It should insert a column for me with the other um, name so for the last name. I'm going to hit finish. And it says there's already data here. Do I want to replace it? Sure. I'm going to hit OK. And that's not what we want to do. So you can see it, it went and um, blew away some of my data. I'm going to undo this. It blew away my phone number. So I'm going to try it again. We're going to hit text to columns, delimited, comma. And this time for our destination, I'm going to select two new columns. I'm going to put it in column E and F over here. So I'm going to just highlight column E and drag it over to F. And now it should take this name and split it into two separate columns over here. And I'll hit finish. And there we go. So we didn't lose our original name, but we did get two more columns over here with first and last name. So great, I'm going to save the file. And that's the only prep work that I have to do within Excel. Um, you'll notice I have some blank rows. I have a header row up here. I have uh, regular players and subs down here. You can change that um, when you go to import the data into Golf League Tracker. All right, so now my data is good, and I'm going to go back to Golf League Tracker, and I'm going to click on Begin Player Import. 
and it asks me to choose the file. So I'm going to click on choose file. You need to know where you saved the file on your computer. And I have an import folder here. And player list one and click open. And then click upload. It only takes a split second. And you'll see the data here matches our data in our Excel file exactly with our new columns, with our first and last names. Um, here's the original column over here. Now I can choose what rows I want to import if I want to change this. So I don't want this header row up here, so I'm going to uncheck that. And this regular players row, I don't want that. And I'll scroll down a little bit. And here's the subs row, and I'll uncheck that. All right, note that Golf League Tracker needs a first name and last name to import players. So even if I left this row on, it won't import it because there is no name. In fact, I'm going to do that to show you how that works. Now what I need to do is tell Golf League Tracker which columns are which in this data set. So for example, if I click on the select box, you'll see that first name and last name are required while we have optional phone numbers, email, and handicap. So in this case, this is the phone number column. So I'm going to click here and click phone one. And it highlights the column to show that that column is going to be imported. Here's my email. So I'm going to pick email. Here's my handicap. And here I have my name. So this is my last name and this is the first name. So I'm going to pick last name and first name. Also note that sometimes spreadsheets from leagues can be just massively wide and you can hide columns here by clicking this close box um, and it will just get rid of that column so it kind of cleans up what we're looking at. It doesn't affect the import whatsoever. All right, now I've got all my columns selected. I'm just going to double check it. Phone, email, handicap, that's the last name and that's the first name and I'm going to click import. And it just takes a second to do, and we get a result page here to show you what was successful and what was not successful. So you're going to see a couple things here. Um, one is this row here, Roberto Kennedy, was not imported because it's a duplicate name. And if we look down the list a little bit, here's another Roberto Kennedy that it did import. And I can go back to my player list here. And you'll notice I have two Roberto Kennedys on my list. So you can't import players with duplicate names. Um, so that's one thing. The other one is that subs row that I left on. Because there's no first name in that, that row, it says it's an invalid name and it did not import it. All right, so finally, there's one more thing I need to do. And if I go to my player list, you'll notice that it put everybody as an active player. Some of these guys were subs, so I need to go into administration, maintain player list, and you'll see it imported 24 guys, and I'm going to change some of these um, to subs, so I can look at my list here. I have five of them. I'm actually going to leave one of them. Let's leave Stanley Lamb as a um, regular player, and I'm going to go in here and um, edit Noel, and then I'm going to change him to a sub. Click save. Uh, who else? Fisher, right up here. Change him to a sub. Nunez was another one. And finally, it was Douglas Snyder. And we'll say sub and save. And so I have 20 players, which this league is set up for a 20-player league. And I have my four subs, and I'm good to go. Uh, if you imported a name that you don't want, you can permanently delete them by clicking the trash can icon. Also note that you can do that with uh, for existing leagues. You can delete players permanently as long as they don't have a score history and as long as your season hasn't started. Um, otherwise, you can edit the player and change them to inactive and they will appear on the inactive list. The inactive list is only visible by league administrators. It doesn't show up anywhere else. Um, so that's it. Takes just a couple minutes to import your player names, and uh, you're ready to go. I'll talk in another video how to do score history.